So we have next to us uh, Mikey Gardo from 1988 uh, Eurovision Song Contest. Welcome on esttoday.com. Um, you have a poppy um, soul music style. It's uh, very unique. Um, what can you tell us about your music style? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, f I feel it. This is my style I found Yeah, when I play piano and I'm singing. This uh, I like very much, so it's natural. You come from a music family. You combined uh, different forms of arts, uh, drama, music, singing, uh, playing mm -hmm. music. Uh, you did also a uh, comedian act in, in the 20s show. What can you tell us about that? <laughs> in the 20s show? Yeah, let's show sure your, your, your mother did, did something. Simple. Yes. What can you tell us about that? Uh, I don't understand the question. You, you did something uh, related to drama, music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, okay. How do you combine all these sectors, you know? Ah, yes, I was uh, uh, playing, acting in a musical and I had a comedy mm. role and I love it to do it. It was like a, 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 a woman from America and she comes in and said, Yoo-hoo, here I am directly from Miami, you know. It, she was not popular. Her son was very popular, and she always like oh, with the TV, you and like this, <laughs> very nice. So, yeah, this I made, and always when I make my own music program, I have my songs, but I always uh, have a funny thing inside because uh, it's nice. Yeah. What memories do you have from the 1988 Eurovision Song Contest? How was it? Um, we know this recent years the Eurovision Song Contest grew bigger and uh, we have like 15 days of rehearsals. We know that 1998 was all a week and uh, you had any parties just uh, yes, for the yes. delegation? That's it, yeah. yeah. We have no parties. <laughs> in, in 1988? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I was a child, I think, yeah, I was a child. But my mother always had to go to bed also. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we had only rehearsals and uh, go to bed. <laughs> and uh, had breakfast and eating something. No, uh, no sightseeing or something mm. like that. But it was an exciting contest because yes. Celine Dion just uh, won with a point um, over UK and uh, I don't know if you heard recently Celine Dion but uh, twins, she, she, she was pregnant. Yes, yes, I heard that. about it, yes, yes. You keep on following developments from Celine Dion, she's quite a huge star and you were there in the same contest. Yes, it's very nice, she had a nice voice and she was very strong in her charisma and um, and I like the song she sang. It's very. <laughs> it has spirit, so. But the others were good also. It was a very strong contest. Do you think also? Mm. Yeah. Well, yeah. Very good. Good songs. Good songs and good voices. And so, yeah. What can you tell us about your. Um, uh, music uh, development you, you've done since 1988? Oh, many ways I went. I was studying musical and then I was playing musical. I also made a CD with other women, only women, nine women in Berlin. And we made music only from the 20th century. It was very nice, very special. and. Then I made chansons and my galas, so, and I began to, to, to create my own shows, sometimes with orchestra, with band, solo on the piano, and this I love to, to make my own things and to write hmm. songs, I try. <laughs> huh? I think it's, it's a good feeling. When you write songs, it's like um, doing something instantly. How, how many minutes, hours, or even oh. weeks or months you take to, to, to write a song? Is it completely different? Yes. Sometimes I have an idea and this, it's there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you 
take yeah, longer time. But it's not oft, often. <laughs> Sometimes I need more time and I think about it and think about it. It's art. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. creativity. Sometimes it's, it's, it's hard work and sometimes it comes like nothing. Mm. So I'm not a big writer. I'm not writing every day a song. Sometimes mm. when I made a trip. Like Ralph Siegel. <laughs>